Hey, I'm B, video producer at Refinery29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. On today's episode, I'm meeting up with chef Gabe Kennedy, who needs a little bit of help in his own kitchen. Hey B, this is my kitchen in Brooklyn, and as you can see, it has a lot of potential, sometimes a little bit of a mess. When you open the cabinets, woo, no me gusta. Could use a lot of help, your expertise. I know you're the guru. Please come help me. Who is it? Hi Gabe. Uh, welcome to the dojo. Hello. It's an amazing space. So the kitchen, it's a nice amount of space, but tell me a little bit about what's going on. I see whole bunch of stuff. I'm used to working in organized professional kitchens and then I get home and it's a little bit of a shit show. I got some cookbooks. Here is my little plant life center. I'm afraid things are gonna top, topple Let's onto see. me. I mean, I have a few more cool things, like as you can see over here, my little tea thing. Oh, that's cool. Um, and there's even more, like these are plates. China set? Yeah, so there's like nice plates in here. Are those yours? No, they're not. Oh. I felt bad throwing these away. I, I couldn't, oh. I couldn't do that. Maybe I could do a little cleansing. Gay's just got a lot of stuff. One of the things that's a challenge in this kitchen is that there's just minimal counter space. You know, whether it's like, it's here, I don't really, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't you have lose. that much. And even here, it's like you lose right. a lot. So to extend it, there's this bar, which houses all of the hard liquor. Mm -hmm. You're I not feeling. Could, I think could go. Okay. I've always envisioned maybe like a butcher block or something mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. not crazy about the baskets. Yeah. This is the tea one and this is the spices one. Yeah. And you just kind of have to like clamor through it. Throw, Zero order whatsoever. Yeah. This yeah. is okay. like use the chili flakes and like boom, boom. throw them okay. in there and hope they don't spill. Love the idea of having a spice rack mm -hmm. with little mason jars where it's labeled. Yeah. There's one thing missing from the space, which is a table. Yeah, you so. can make all this good food, but you can't even serve it. So you are a chef. Tell me a little, a little bit about that life. My, my overall mission mm -hmm. is to connect people and the planet through food. Ultimately, get people engaging with food more. That's like what wakes me up in the morning. Organizing, <laughs> helping people out with their spaces is actually what wakes me up in the morning. And yeah, what makes I know. me feel like I'm contributing. Okay, so I always have to ask, what kind of budget are we working with? It's an investment in myself and for people that I love. So I would say $1,000 would feel uh, feel appropriate. I can go a long way with that. I'm excited. Likewise. But what I need you to do is relinquish control over the kitchen. Get out. It's yours, chef. Okay. It's yours. Ooh, chef. I like that. There are three things I want to focus on in Gabe's kitchen. The first is tabletop space. As a professional chef, Gabe just needs more of it. Secondly, Gabe loves plants, so I want to find a way to bring greenery into the space that enhances it and doesn't clutter it. And lastly, what is a chef without a spice rack? To get the plants off the counter, I'm going to rig up some hanging pots. Using some cotton rope and a little strategic knot placement, I'm creating a kind of rope basket for the pot. Once I get this into Gabe's space, I'll hang it from a ceiling hook. I'm putting together a bar cart with a butcher block top for extra counter space. It's an inexpensive piece, so I'm just going to reinforce all the joints with some extra strength wood glue to increase this cart's durability. For Gabe's spices, I'm doing a magnetic spice rack with customizable labels. I'm gonna start with a sheet of stainless steel, and I found these magnetic tins that he can see into and write on. Now, taking an erasable chalk pen, I'll label the tins. This first one is gonna have cloves in it. I'll repeat this for all of the spices, and he'll have himself a full spice rack. All right, I'm done in the studio. It's time to head back to the kitchen. I'm trying to fix some of his shelves so they don't fall apart. Okay, I'm going in. The last of the spices. I'm ready to get Gabe. Okay. Okay. Come here. Stand oh, right here. Oh, yo! This is sick. I know, it's a lot to take in all at once. My heart's beating. You have like food safe wood countertop. 
but also like doubles as a bar. This thing Get is into so it. clutch. We also talked about your plants, and I thought yeah. hanging them was a fun way to get some of your plants off of your countertop. I love these, I'm such a sucker. Wow. Hey, wait, come here. Okay, so then obviously we talked spices. Yeah. Chef and his spices, they're a must have. That's so cool. This is like a total transformation of space and energy. I did have some questions, however. They're, they have question marks on them. I love that. Because I didn't know what it's, the it's hell like they a, it's were. A, it's a game for everyone. Yes. These are, I know what they are. They're the unmarked ba sketch baggies from and Turkey. And do we know some Turkish mystery spice? But they're both, they're both delicious. I don't know what they are though. Right. I couldn't remember. So we'll keep the question marks. And finally, we had talked about it. You are a, a chef and entertainer without a kitchen table. Come over here. We have your brand new kitchen table. Look at this beauty. You know, Chef, you need a space to, to present your plates. I love it. Hardwood. Hardwood, dark wood. That. I gotta ask how much how much was the tab? You wanna know how much I spent. I wanna know how much money I spent. Okay, so this one, I went big on this one. Because I bigger, thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was worth it. I admire what you do, and I wanted the space to be right for you. So I spent $963. Coming in under budget. So <laughs> under budget. <laughs> the work and love that you put into it, and I'm really grateful. Like, this has totally shifted the vibe, so thank you. Oh, you're welcome. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm gonna sit and wait. Uh -huh. If you wanted to make a meal <laughs> or like, I could just I mean, let's see what I can see what I can see what I got. Tea, wheatgrass shop. Bring it on. Sitting at the new kitchen table, enjoying the new view, the kitchen, plant life. All good. Thank you so much again for all the hard work and love that you put into the space. I totally feel it every day. Woo. Thanks so much for watching. To subscribe to Refinery29, click here. To watch more videos, click here. And let me know about your own hacks in the comments below. See you next time.